In this lecture, you will learn how to create a component and how to render a component in React application. Usually, we keep each component in separate files. So what I'm going to do here is inside this source folder, I'm going to create a new file and I will call this app.js. And inside this app.js file, I'm going to create the app component. Now in React, we can create a component in two ways using a JavaScript function or using a JavaScript class. In this lecture, we are going to create a component using a JavaScript function. And we will talk about creating a component using JavaScript class in our future lecture. All right, so to create a component, first we can use this function keyword and then we can specify a name for this function. I'm going to call it app. And this function is going to act like a component. And from within this function, we need to return a JSX expression. So here I'm going to return an H2 element. And here, let's say this is app component. Okay. So from within this app function, from within this app component, we are returning this JSX expression. Now, in order to make this function available in other files, we also need to export this function from this app.js. For that, we need to use export keyword and we want to export this app function as a default so for that we can use this default keyword and what do we want to export we want to export this app and that's it here we have created a component and we are exporting that component now we want to use this component in index.js file so here the first thing which we need to do is we need to import this app from this app.js for that Let's use this import statement and here we want to import app from and we want to import it from app.js. Now here we don't need to specify the extension, this .js extension, only the file name should be enough. All right, now what we are doing in this index.html. So if you remember in the last lecture, we created this header, which is storing this h1 element and then we rendered this header inside this div the div with this id root for that we use this react dom dot render method now the latest version by the recording of this video for react is react 18 and in react 18 this react dom dot render has been deprecated so if i go to the web page you will notice that this h1 element has been rendered in the web page but we also have a warning here and this warning says react dom dot render is no longer supported in React 18. Use React root instead. So this React DOM dot render is no more supported in React 18, which is the latest version. So instead of using this React DOM dot render, we can use create root method. So let's go ahead and let's do that. For that, let me comment this line here. And let's also comment this header because we are no more going to use it. Now let's go ahead and let's create another constant. Let's call it root. And to this root, we want to assign this div, which we have inside this index.html with this id root. So for that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use create root method. So this create root method we have in react dom. So this react dom has this create root method now this react dom is not this react dom object which we are importing from react hyphen dom this react dom object we need to import it from react hyphen dom slash client okay keep this point in mind now to this create root method we need to pass that html element which is going to act as a container and here this div is going to act as a container, right? So here again, let's use document dot get element by ID method. And to this get element by ID method, let's pass the ID of that div, which is root. And within this element, we want to render our app component, right? So on this root, we can call this render method. 
and to this render method we can pass this app component okay and we also need to specify the closing tag so here we are passing this app component as an HTML tag that means in place of this app inside this container div this HTML will be rendered let's see that and before that we can also simply write it like this all right with this let's save the changes let's go to the web page and here you will notice an h2 element with this content this is app component has been rendered and we are defining this markup here in this app.js right if i change this content here so instead of saying this is app component let's say this is my first component let's save this let's go to the web page you will see that content rendered here as an h2 element if we make it as paragraph so in that case it will be rendered as a paragraph okay so here we created our very first component and we created this component using a function so we simply created a function and from that function we are returning a JSX expression in the next lecture let's have a closer look at JSX and let's learn how we can return complex JSX code from our react component